Sandra Jansen, what prompted you to deliver that speech in the way that you did in the legislature? Well, I think it was really important uh, uh, to make sure that people understood that this is the kind of language that is leveled at uh, female politicians every day. Uh, our premier in this province has been getting that kind of language since the moment she took office. Same with the female members of the New Democrat Caucus and members of the cabinet. And, and I'd reached the point where I thought, you know what, uh, there are a lot of young women watching that narrative on social media and making the decision not to enter public life. So we we have to put it out there. We have to put it out in a place where everybody understands this is what people are saying about your wives, your mothers, your daughters, and it has to stop. We have to get to a better place in the dialogue. Is this the first time that you've become a target of misogyny or is this dogged you for a lot of your political career as well? Well, you know, it certainly has happened in the past. When I decided to run for uh, leadership of the PC party, uh, I was certainly the most progressive of, of the candidates who were in the race. And I got a lot of pushback for the fact that I stood up for LGBTQ rights and women's reproductive rights. And, you know, we had an element uh, trying to take our party, uh, or my then party, further to the right. And, uh, and so there were certainly a lot of comments uh, uh, leveled at me at that point. We had to hire someone uh, to go through my Facebook and actually take off all the offensive narrative that was out there. Uh, so it certainly wasn't new to me. It wasn't new to a lot of female politicians I know. But really it, it amped up after I decided to leave my caucus and join the New Democrats. And, uh, and at a certain point, uh, the rhetoric had become so inflamed. I thought, you know, enough is enough. Well, we have to turn the page. There are mm -hmm. wonderfully decent people in this country uh, who put up with this every day and uh, we have to put some you know they say sunshine is the best disinfectant I think we have to put some sunshine on the fact that these are the comments being made and and make sure that we make it awkward for people who make those comments now I understand that you now have some temporary I hope it won't last that long because it won't be necessary but you have some protective detail there are people protecting you because they're concerned about your safety There's definitely some anger out there, and uh, I'm not the only uh, female politician who has felt it. I, I think, you know, one of the things that really surprised me was the resonance of the message that I sent out uh, in the chamber. And I've heard uh, from female uh, politicians across the country, from mayors, Reeves, school trustees, uh, women who have been uh, direct messaging me on Twitter and telling me uh, about their uh, instances of verbal abuse. And uh, frankly, it, it has been amazing to see the outpouring of support uh, from women and from men uh, mm -hmm. uh, across this country who work in public service and who are standing up and saying, I agree with you, this has to stop. We have to get to a better place. What was it like for you to, uh, you know, because <laughs> to hear you say those words, uh, you know, it's one thing to read these tweets. It's awful to read the tweets, but to hear the words come out of your mouth, these words that were directed at you, I mean, it, it was bracing for a lot for a lot of people. What was that like for you to do, and and, and the reaction of the MLAs around you? It was incredibly difficult to say that in a public arena, even though those are the words we face as female politicians every single day when we do our jobs. Uh, it was a very difficult member statement to read out. Uh, but I have this amazing uh, New Democrat caucus, and when I was on my way in there to read uh, that statement, uh, one by one they said to me, we have your back. I felt incredibly supported the whole time by a wonderful caucus and by an amazing premier. And uh, going forward, I know that uh, this sort of thing is something that uh, we are going to make sure we stand up against uh, as, as a collective group. And mm. we are joined by uh, some pretty incredible support from right across this country and even on the other side of the pond. You know, uh, although Canada, is there a problem in Canada? I know that the NDP caucus is uh, pretty even. We know that uh, the Trudeau cabinet is even because uh, he said it was 2015. But there's a, I mean, Canada is number 50 uh, in terms of, of women being in political positions. Is there a problem of, in terms of misogyny or something in this country that is telling women don't enter politics? 
Well, it's the language uh, that we face every day, I think, is one of the problems. Young women, and we have that next generation of leadership that we have to encourage to come to the table. And they're watching this and they're saying, why would I want to do something like that when I get that kind of abuse leveled at me on a daily basis? Uh, and, and that is a problem. That's something we have to think about. Uh, we want our daughters, and, and, and I said that in the chamber, our daughters are watching. They're watching how we treat women uh, in political life. And it's not just in political life. I've heard from women in, in other career paths who have said the same thing. They have faced many challenges. We have to stand up and say, look, we want that next generation of leadership to come to the table. We want to nurture that next generation. And the only way we do it is by doing the hard work now to make sure we clear the path so they don't face the kind of obstacles we face today. Would a, would a man have been subjected to the same kind of abuse if he had done what you had done by, you know, crossing the floor? Uh, some of the worst of the things that were said about me, uh, I did not say on the floor of the legislature, but they're out there and they're very misogynistic and they are definitely centered at women. And that's uh, disappointing to hear, but appreciate you taking uh, the time uh, to talk to us about it. Thank you very much.